Standing isn't the most exciting move in blackjack, but it's one players should consider more often than they do. Lesson three, stand. When do you stand? In many instances at the blackjack table, you will find it advantageous to stand. If we are talking about the basics, you should stand on any two cards that equal 17 or more, regardless of the dealer's up card. You don't want to take a card and risk the chance of going over 21 and busting. The basic strategy behind standing gets trickier on hand values of 12 to 16. In this instance, you will always look at the dealer's up card to guide you. Basic strategy will dictate when you stand and when you hit based on that up card. If the dealer is showing a bus card from two to six, the math will tell you that it's better to stand and not take any more cards if you have 13 and over. The 12 is a tricky one, and we will ask you to refer to the strategy chart provided by OnlineGambling.com as to when to hit and when to stand when you have 12. Here are a few examples on when to stand. A player 13 on a dealer two. A player 17 on a dealer nine. A player 12 on a dealer six. It's likely the dealer will bust on these hands, so you're better off staying in the game on a weaker hand and waiting for the dealer to lose. So to recap, you should stand if your hand value is 17 or more. You should stand if you have 13 on a dealer two. You should stand if you have 17 on a dealer nine. You should stand if you have a 12 on a dealer six. Next, we're going to look at split, one of the most fun moves in blackjack. Learn the best and worst hands for splitting with us next. Thanks for watching, players. If you want to learn more, check out our guides on blackjack strategy through the link.